Point of view, you just bought The Sims 4 Horse Ranch and you were looking for some mods to enhance your gameplay. Hello my beautiful buddies, welcome back to the channel. I am Rosebud, if you haven't watched me before, and I am doing a mod overview video for good mods for The Sims 4 Horse Ranch. But before we begin, I want to say thank you to EA for any content you might see in the background that's in-game content, because I have been a little absent on my YouTube channel for a while. I've been building this big save file, and that's why I've been kind of quiet, I've been doing it in my spare time, but however, this video is not about that. It is about these mods, and I am so, so, so excited to share them with you. We have four on our plate. Our sims here are Barbie, and we've got Ken, and their daughter Erica. I have made Barbie in the past as a create a sim, but I did put her in this outfit to kind of like match her movie vibe, and I'm kind of Ken too, I just gave him some clothes. And then their little daughter over here, She's adorable. She's like hiding behind one of our mods right here. And guys, this is definitely the cutest one out of them all. King horse and it will provide uh, some fun and some imagination skill, I believe it is. And they can sleep on it. But yeah, they have blue, we've got pink, we've got green, we've got... Oh, this one has a little moon on it. And then we've got the unicorn one. Well, actually, it doesn't, it's not really a unicorn, but it gives me unicorn vibes, so I'm calling it a unicorn. And then we've got the wooden ones here. Keepers, the, the one I picked because I stand by that choice. <laughs> and yeah, this is just what it looks like. It's super cute. And I'll have her get on it because this is a custom animation and she's going to ride on the rocking horse. And she go, and where is she going? Oh, okay. So she's going around, I think. And then she's coming back around and then she's gonna climb on it okay and as you can see here she's building the imagination skill and she looks like she is having the time of her life look how Aww. cute <laughs> yeah didn't i tell you guys this one was an adorable one it is and let's see here i believe that she she is i cheated their needs so, but trust me, this one does give you fun because I did test it before I started recording. And then I'm gonna see if I could have her nap on it for you guys because this also provides a napping interaction. Although I will say I wish Sims would just go to bed because it's better for <laughs> their, you know, it's better for their need bar, but this is so cute and I just had to show you guys. It would be perfect for the sims for the horse one i'm just gonna call it sims for horse girl because that's what really it is because obviously this is a racking horse and it's just cute and it's a toy and like why not add this to your game you know again all the links will be down in the description if you're looking to download these but this is definitely the first one we'll leave her there and then we'll switch to barbie and it's finally sunny outside i no, i totally didn't cheat that for this video <laughs> next one is the bucking bronco and i know a lot of people were saying that they were disappointed go away welcome wagon <laughs> a lot of people were disappointed because they wanted this to be in the pack at the point of i'm recording this i don't know if any of these made it to the pack this is a mod because i want to say i'm like 60 percent sure that they probably didn't add this if they didn't show it in the trailer and this was from The Sims 3. I believe it was a store item. Correct me if I'm wrong if it wasn't. Originally it was in The Sims 1 and that's why people wanted it because it would be like the perfect time to bring it back. If you wanted this in your game, you can totally go ahead and have it because it's now a mod and it's free and it would be perfect in your country bars when in the pack releases or I believe dance hall is going to be a new venue type that would be perfect for here too. You can disable an emotional aura or enable it i just believe it maybe does confidence yeah it was confidence and you have different options bucking bronco always fail always succeed crazy cowgirl always fail always succeed easy rider always fail and always succeed and i don't know if they just do different things the only thing i think that would have made this mod better is if you just gave these three different options and if and if it was you know like at random but I'm gonna do crazy cowgirl wow okay that goes freaking fast <laughs> because this is a custom animation um, I'm gonna see if I could try to get her like a screenshot oh yes that's the perfect screenshot guys <laughs> this is so funny now you could just see her go <laughs> yeah I just 
crazy. I don't know how long this goes for. And it's like one simoleon, so it's like perfect thing to put it in like the bar. And it just goes super fast. Like I'm not even speeding through it, guys. So yeah, Barbie is a champ on this one, definitely for sure. Wow, and <laughs> okay, cool. Wins, I guess you can see her do that. But yeah, we'll go through them and we'll see <laughs> lightning rod. We'll see these because I, I bet the like the always fail one is going to be really hilarious. I guess the difference is, is that she's like barely holding on. But still, I'd say this is really impressive if even if <laughs> we were managed to stay on this long and like do these like little flips. That's, this is just a silly like fun one because I know that people were like disappointed. I just want to see it long enough until we can see her like I guess like be bucked off. And this is still impressive, I feel like, for, for being a fail one, right? I don't know, maybe that's just my opinion. You guys can say it down below. And I'll show you the other style of, like, rides, too. I won't go through them all. I'll leave, like, some of the failing ones, you know, up to you. I don't know how that was a fail. That, that looks still like a win to me. But <laughs> I'll go through the other ones. We'll do Easy Rider. We'll try Easy Rider. I don't know, if, again, that these have any different custom animations okay so yeah she's doing different things on this one this one isn't going as like nuts as the other one i would say this one to me looks like more of a fail because she's like trying to fall off on this one in my personal opinion she's just going ahead with this one i guess this one it just looks more beginner like but yeah my only gripe i guess with this one is that it would be nice if it was at random and the ones that they were failing actually looked like they were failing and not like a professional at it. Again, this is just a little silly mod and I do think it's a cute one. I mean, all of these animations are very impressive. But yeah, we'll do fucking Bronco always fail so we could just see how this one looks. As I'm just curious to see if there's any different ones. Okay, so yeah, this one is just kind of more like the crazy cowgirl. Okay. Oh wait, no, she's failing, definitely. <laughs> So she's like trying to hold on. This this one's actually kind of funny. So see, if you want to fail at one, I would pick this one because this one looks like the biggest fail to me. I don't know about Easy Rider though. So Ken is over here by the animal shed. We're gonna ignore the fact that it's floating because it's on a slope. You might be thinking, hey Ro, that this is not this isn't a mod, this was from The Sims 4 Cottage Living, and you were right. For this one, you will need The Sims 4 Cottage Living. You can purchase an animal, and you're gonna get all these options that are not in the pack. You can get a beige llama, a black alpaca, you can even get horses. Although I'm curious to see if the horses, if they're going to go ahead and take them out after the, after the pack comes and add, like, different animals. You can get a black white sheep, you can get a brown alpaca, you can get a brown cow, you can get a brown donkey, a brown horse, a brown sheep, a goat, a highland cow, a white highland cow, jersey cow, an emo cow, a spotted cow, white alpaca, white cow, a white horse, white llama, white sheep, and a wool pig. Okay, these are all the animals. Which one should we pick? Because I know that there's sheep that are gonna come in the Sims 4 horse ranch, but they're mini sheep. So this is a good one because you can add more animals on your lot because I do feel like this would be good gameplay. Like it makes sense for this to be on a ranch, you know, you'd expect to have more animals. So if you have cottage living, this is like an amazing one to have because it gives you more options. And personally, I kind of feel like cottage living and horse ranch kind of go hand in hand. Uh, cottage living was well made, but it just, I kind of personally always felt like there was something missing to it. And I feel like horse ranch was just something missing. And we're gonna see our, we're gonna see him come out. So here he is, he's a brown donkey. Aw, he's so cute. <laughs> He's floating too. Oh my god, guys. We're just gonna ignore that. I guess we can always get another one and see what that one looks like too. Let's go ahead and do that. Because now, I, I just want to see them all now, honestly. At least like the custom ones. Okay, so I just got another shed for us to see another one of the animals. I hate that it's like 9 o'clock at night. Probably not the best time <laughs> for this. But we're gonna go ahead the pig. Because I'm curious to see what the pig looks like. Because I feel like that one's probably gonna be the most different one of them all okay so it's just giant pig but yeah 
Um, we're gonna ignore the fact that it's like doing that because it's this is glitched out. This might be my fault because I didn't put it on flat land. As you can see, they're just different animals, but you can still do the you know the same kind of interactions you can give a treat you can clean the pig you can feed the pig you can dress the pig i'm interested if that works you can name the pig you can shear the pig's wool you can send the pig in there's different options with it and it'll go back to sleep that's that is the more animals mod. i thought it was just interesting for you guys because again more more stuff to do with the sims 4 horse ranch I might just be actually stupid because I don't know how to get it to work. The free range mod. So what this basically does is it puts the farm animals anywhere. So you can build your own animal shed. And then this spot is for the free range grazing marker. So they have to have both for this in order to work. Might be doing something wrong. Eventually you can get the llamas or cows and you can put them here. It's, this is not in conjunction with this one. But again, you need cottage living for this one. But again, you can get probably cottage living on, on sale at this point, I would say. First thing one for you guys, again, that want to play with more like farm life when you do get the pack. These are all four of my mods. I'm, I have been like touring this so long this actually turned nightfall. Thank you guys for going ahead and joining me with this one. Let me know if you guys are gonna be using any of these mods and let me know if you're excited for the new Sims 4 horse ranch pack. If you could be ever so kind and follow me here and like the video and give a comment, I would love that. Also, follow me on my socials. I am on threads now, which is interesting. You guys can let me know if you're on threads. I will go ahead and follow you if you leave your name below. Thank you guys so, so much, and I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye bye bye. I don't wanna let you down. It's the only thing I think about every morning You know my life ain't figured out But I promise if you stick around it'll never get boring We'll spend nights cheap red wine Look at flats even though we can't afford them I don't wanna let you down